Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio MVP and DevOps Cloud Architect. So in this video, we are going to continue on our series for DevOps for Dynamics. And in, in this video, we are going to uh, explain the steps for partial automation for creating Microsoft Dynamics 365 environment on Azure. So we will talk about, you know, preparing the client machine by installing the Azure uh, PowerShell so I can connect to my Azure subscription, then start creating the local VM, then uh, uploading the VM to Azure and start creating the image from the VHD. So I store the image on uh, a storage account on Azure. After that, I start creating a VM from Azure uh, on Azure or from the image and then running the script to join the domain and run registry uh, run a script to update the registry with the new name because you know usually we created the image from uh, a machine with Dynamics 365 and usually the deployment or the configuration of Dynamics 365 is tightly coupled to the machine name so I will run a script to change the, the configuration in the registry and after that, run a SQL script to update the CRM configuration database with a new server name. And also for the SQL server name, because the SQL server is also tightly coupled to the, the machine name. After that, I will remap the SQL server reporting service to the new machine. And then uh, in, uh, restoring the encryption key and then fixing the application pool because it will be crashed. And after that, I changing the CRM web address settings to map that to the new server name. And after that, I will enable the network sharing so I can have uh, enab uh, enable uh, a shared folder. And then could be the backup, the latest backup from the target organization, CRM organization to my shared uh, folder. And then after that, restoring that organization database to the SQL server on the new machine. And after that, importing that CRM organization, which is I just store, restored that uh, to the SQL. So importing that organization. And after that, export CRM solution from target machine. And then importing all the solutions to the, the new machine. So after that, I will have a completely new CRM machine, which is ready, self-provisioned, and export imported a new organization database and also imported all the CRM solution from targeted machine. So all this process, we are going to see that. So let's see that. So let's open my Azure portal and go for the image resource manager where I stored my VM image. And then I will create a new VM from this image, which is called Azure CRM. And here I will put my username and the password for the local account. So this is the image I created from uploaded VHD after I generalized this image. And here I confirm the password. I will using existing resource manager, which I call DevOps and here for the license because I have the license. I will choose a machine where it has a good configuration, 16 gigabytes of memory, that's fine. And then, okay, this is a confirmation, so I will click OK. So now the new machine is created from the, the image I stored, which is created from Dynamics 365 image. It will take time, so I will pause the video and return back when it's completed. So let's go for the virtual machine. Here still, so pausing the video and get back when it's completed. So now it's completed. Uh, so let's open the machine. I will click on Azure CRM and click on connect. So this will download the RDB file or remote, uh, remote desktop. So I will connect to the machine using my local account, which is I 
used during the the creation of the machine now I'm connecting to the machine of course this is the first time building the, the profile for this account on this machine for the first time still creating all the profile so if we open the machine to see the settings and see uh, this is my script where I will run the script let's see the configuration of the machine so we can see here this is the name of the machine Azure CRM and it is a work group called DevOps Visions so I will close that and going to my script where I have all the PowerShell scripts so let's first open the registry and see software Microsoft MS CRM and then we have here two values I want to look at it configure database and if we look at the machine name here we will find Dynamics 365 this is the only machine name from the template and also look at the server URL we have also Dynamics 365 this is the old machine name which is again you know it's using the old machine name not the new name for the virtual machine so the first step is by running this PowerShell script which will join the domain um, in this script it will just change the, the machine to point to the DNS where it has a domain controller so I can then connect to the domain so and join the domain and of course restart the machine to take effect so the machine is not available so I will wait for the machine to be restarted and then connecting again I will pause the video again <coughs> so start download and in this time I will log in using the domain account which is in my case <coughs> ADDevOpsVision.com. This is uh, my my domain controller. So as we can see now, I managed to connect to the machine using the domain account because it's the machine joins the domain. And if I verify here the settings, we can see that the machine joins the domain, and this is the full machine name, fully qualified machine name including the domain so getting back to my script so to just show you some of the values that I will change inside the configuration database so I prepare this query which is retrieving the information so we can look at that before so of course here connecting to the local instance of the SQL server so here I will use the first just to, to use the CRM configuration database of course I can change the drop down it's the same so if I select the first value which is in the var character column from deployment properties and so we can see that this is the old machine name if I look at the full name also we, we will found that we will find that this is the old machine name as well help silver URL this is empty and the connection string SQL server value uh, is our URL we found that it's also all the, the name using the old machine name and here this is the SQL server name so this is not for the CRM this is SQL server so it's dynamics 365 so even the SQL server is using and if I open the reporting service configuration manager then going to the encryption key we can see that I can't back up the encryption key because it's not working if I go for the web service URL for the SQL server reporting service and try to open the report server URL we can see that the reporting service is not working of course the encryption key is not working the database is not working mapped to and if I open the CRM or Dynamics 365 CRM deployment manager we can see it's crashed 
this is why if I also open the application pool, we will see that it's it will work now, but it will be crashed after some time. So here I have two main uh, application pool, which running the CRM services. So here the CRM app pool and CRM deployment, and both of them is started, but after some time they will be crashed. So as we can see, this is the configuration that I need to, you know, change. So in order to make my machine working properly, so I will run this script, which will change all the settings. So if I run the script, as we can see, it's update the registry for the first key, which is the config database, and then the server URL. Also, it runs the script to update the CRM configuration database with the new server name and also for the new server name for the SQL Server value. And now it's remapped the SSRS or reporting service database to the new server. So it's the same database, but we just need to remap this SSRS. It takes time, so this is one of the... Now it's finished, then restoring the SSRS encryption key, the reporting service encryption key. And now it's fixed the application pool by entering the credential and the change the CRM web address settings. So now this is a CRM settings. And now it's enabled sharing, share the folder and restart the machine. So this is script do all of that. So boost after the restart and then reconnect to the machine. So if we open the machine now, so after this configuration, if I open the deployment manager, we can see that the deployment manager opened successfully. If I open the demo organization, which is the, the organization in the CRM, we can see that it's working properly. So I managed to successfully create a new CRM from uh, an image stored on Azure. So let's go for settings and look at the solution. So as we will see, I have three solutions in the demo organization. So let me show you here. This is a domain server. This is the domain controller where I put an organization database. And here is the backup folder where I shared, so I can copy that, so I can restore this organization and abort this organization. So now I will run a script where it will copy the backup from the destination to this shared folder on the new machine. So here, as we will see, get latest backup, so run that. So as we can see, it starts now copying the file. This is the destination. So the first script is to copy that the organization database from the source to the destination and the destination in the new machine. So let me open the SQL server so we can see while restoring the organization database. So if I refresh the database, we can see there is no database. Now I will run the script where it will restore the organization database. So let me show you here when I refresh the database. We will see that I have the test organization is restoring while my PowerShell script is still processing the restoring of the database, which is on Azure CRM configuration, still restoring. Now it's completed. If I refresh now the database, we will find that the organization is restored correctly. If I refresh that, of course, it will not appear because it's just a database imported in the SQL, uh, restored in the SQL Server. So what I'm going to do is I run another script 
which will import this organization so run this script which will import the organization here this will import test organization takes time at, at the beginning just now it's processing so let's refresh here to see that so we can see that test org is bending because it's still in processing of importing that it will just take time we can also while we importing the organization we can map from one account to another if we have different domains and by the way I have also here I have some XML which has the mapping between the domains different domain so now it's import organization if I refresh that and see look at the bending now we can see that it's enabled which means that I successfully import the organization test organization to the new deployment and when we open that we can see that it's working correctly now if I go for the setting solutions we can see that solution it doesn't include any solutions so it's an empty so what I'm going to do is run another script where it will export solution from uh, the demo organization again I can I can define which organization I need to export from and here it will export all the organization here inside this place now sorry export all the solution not the organization so it will export all of them here in this folder so as we can see this is the first solution exported and all of them I'm exporting them as unmanaged solution and waiting for the third yes so now it's completed exported all the solutions now I will run another script which is copy and import the solution so it will copy them inside the CRM solution exported here so run the PowerShell script the first of course it's move actually it's not copy but it's move them so it's move them here inside this folder and then it will export them to the new testing organization and here it's sorry it's importing them so this is the first solution it's import and the second solution till the second solution the third solution the last one still now it's completed so if I get back here for the test organization as we can see let's refresh that then we will see that we imported this solutions to the new test organization at the end i would like to thank you for watching the video please if you have any question don't hesitate to contact me on my blog muhammadradwan.com also you, you can visit my blog with the link that will appear at the end of the video or uh, click on the related video, which usually is part of this series um, or uh, give you more information about the same topic. Thank you.